my three uh, main ideas were dream big and be brave, um, redefining the role of the teacher, having creative workshops, technical skills, um, and, sorry, flexible spaces with furniture, um, natural light, um, having net zero buildings for teaching and learning and making that part of the actual um, school campus. Uh, the second one was make it feel good, bringing nature into the building and also the building out into nature in an urban setting because um, I teach off 82nd and there are some considerations that we have that have to be taken into consideration. Um, knowing, let's see, building community and trying to build on the success um, and encouraging participation of students, teachers and the community. And supporting great teachers by um, having community engagement. Um, this space here at one time was used as a night school where four teachers came in here and had um, high need students and they were able to teach them in kind of a community type setting. Um, and having some partnerships between schools like Sunnyside School and their neighborhood schools could um, be less isolated community projects, like share the projects between different schools since um, some have more developed uh, resources. Okay, I'll, I'll echo table number four. There's probably not much new under the sun here that hasn't already been on somebody else's map, but we followed a lot the form and function that many groups followed. Basically, we threw out a need and put a space on there to deal with that need. And some of the needs that we saw were hands-on things. So we have a garden, we have temporary building each year that the new class would build to take some ownership in the school. Uh, two different, a clean shop and a dirty or dusty shop. Um, Yeah, the community space, cafeteria, the food up here. And also there might be a couple other groups mentioned, mentioned bringing in uh, social workers and, and maybe even juvenile uh, or police presence, kind of a wraparound services type of an idea. So there might be some DHS offices here, which could bring parents in also. Uh, other needs, of course, uh, movement besides in the classroom. So there's a field here and some phys ed stuff and maybe a little gym. Uh, we have walking paths, a border walking path and then kind of a whimsical little path here with little study areas set off the side. Um, and then a variety of different classroom spaces, small, large, they're all around here. All of these represent different types of learning spaces. So a lot of the same ideas we've heard all day. Okay. What ours is pretty.